Hi, good morning. It's morning. Welcome back to our channel. It's recording, baby. Welcome back to our channel because uh, we both have a YouTube channel. I have mine, it's in by Rush, and Kevin's is Kevin McLean. So feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoy this video. We're not forcing you, but I'm pretty confident that you will enjoy the video. So, based on the title down below, we're going to be talking about money and marriage. So even if you're not married, you're in a relationship, a serious one, because I do recommend, caution and disclaimer, I do recommend that you start talking about money when you're in a serious relationship. Don't start discussing your money with nobody who you know plan to have a future with, plan to live with, or plan to invest in. Just a point. I can't just say much because you have to covered. I think I'm just here for moral support. It's just sound good and have it that was it well. Yeah, so we want to talk about money. Um, in my recent video, I did share it as one of the things that should be considered whenever you are thinking about getting married. You must talk about money, and um, our journey is not unique. Everyone goes through money challenges and everyone mm -hmm. goes through money issues and the money do play a part in everyone's life. So we want to just share our journey. There are a few questions we want to you know, run through and uh, you can shoot your comments and you can share yours too if you need, if you need to. Because the aim of this is to really help others um, to understand what's out there. It's not to follow a life as if, as if our life is a map that everyone should go this way because we are all different and unique in our own way and each partner and each person, each marriage is unique in its own way. But money is a common factor. So we want to ensure that you don't take this as a gospel that it must go this way. We're not saying that, all right? Putting, put, putting that out there now for those some, some, some person who think we might be saying that. We just want to share our journey with you and maybe some nuggets, some little remnants on the conversation will help you um, help your relationship as it relates to money. Beautiful. And must I add um, to what he's saying? It's a culture for us not to talk about money. We're shy. You know, we're ashamed. But we're trying to break that culture. We have a ton of general, what do you call it, generational curses. Every family struggles. <laughs> and we're trying to break it. But as couples, we're shy to talk about it. You know, the men, men in particular, they don't try to discuss money. If, if a man don't have enough money, it's a stigma towards him and a woman treat a man based on how much money he has. Either a possession or what you Yeah, do. so we're trying to break that culture. So if, if, if there's no other video out there on YouTube or no other video out there on any platforms, we don't know about any other video that talks about money in marriage, but if there, are, there are videos, link them below or tell us. But we are going to start the trend based on our group or circle. We don't hear nobody coach us about money. Nobody uh, in any counseling that we did before getting married, nobody said anything to us about money. And to add to that, I have you, you, you brought it up, funny. Um, most times people don't talk about money and it's, it, 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 it by surprise. And of course, there are tons of videos out there about money. But as it relates to money in marriage, and yeah. it relates to money and people who are children of God, which we are, kingdom believers, there is not much. Um, but we know about co co contemporary, so much we about making money, quick dollars oh, and fast. Yeah. yeah, we know about that. But we want to share from a kingdom perspective as a young couple being right. married and having children, I think that it will be helpful for you and beneficial for you um, to understand. By the way, she just got dressed, so I want to go make tell her she looks beautiful. Um, I know you guys will agree with me, but I want to share to her. She looks lovely. It's her birthday too, and her it's thirty it's second. So, so she. Every time Black Indian talk about my age. Because I know that she's not really a, a one of those ladies who are up to their age. She's comfortable with her age and her accomplishments, her insecurity. She's good. So I want to wish her happy birthday, and I hope that we will grow together. No, I might get too too intimate and I don't want to be too <laughs> bad <and> from YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. So the first question here, um, what was your finance like before you got married? So 
first? So we are married now for six years. Am I correct? Six years from 2016? Six years. Six years. May, May come in seven. Year, seven years. Alright, six years. So, yeah. so what was your finance like before marriage? So you want to go first? Sure. Alright, so my finance was all over the place to be to be um, honest and I'm gonna be completely transparent um, I got married pretty young I think some would say the, the some would say not age, so the idea, every young girl wanna get married age I got, I got in my early 20s 25. so um, I was not really managing my money when I got married and it's like I got married just in time when the money started to come in so you know that kind of saved me personally so before marriage, I was making money. I was making a fair amount of money because I started in college doing makeup on people, earning my little dollars. But that was the money to invest back in myself. It was just to get by, to go through school. Then I went overseas, I work, I went as a J1 student and I work on different, different programs. The money keep on coming in. But if a friend called me, if my family members reach out to me, I just give them money without thinking. I give money so much, even when I don't even have it, don't even thinking about it. I give money to people and then I don't have none. I give money to people and I can't buy food. But then, you know, a part of me is like, okay, have faith, what should you love God, they believe in God, so God, I always make a way, so about, just give it. As in, it made it like in the first six months of marriage? No, before marriage, man. If like a year before marriage, um, what was your finance like? Were you a saver? Were you... Oh, my finance, it was horrible. It was all over the place. And I can, you know, publicly say it wasn't in order. When my husband um, met me, I pretty much had no money. I was living from paycheck to paycheck. And I'm a, t I'm a trained teacher in Jamaica. So how is it that a young girl have no kids, a good job, and I also <laughs> hustle on the side with my skills, and I had no savings, none. So when money come, make it John Brown, make it Mary, and me done, and make me buy some for myself, and me gone back to an empty account, and then me wait on the 25th again to, to re up. So me empty and re up, empty. Up. So it was the no sense of security, no sense of safety. Harris? For me, my, what was my finance like before getting married? I've, I've always been a tickler for money. I've always had an interest in money, wanted to know money. Um, those, some who know me would say that I'm a miser, which I'm not. Um, it's just that I'm very cautious in spending money. I'm a very kind person for those who know me. But you know, people, when you're, when you're cautious and you think about what you do, people say you're a miser. So that's the case for like relatives and so forth. But I'm not, I'm a very kind person. So I've always had savings, always savings. So everyone could call on me, all of me not working. I've totally all, opposite. Total opposite. No, op no savings. Saving. Saving. So when I got married, up, up until marriage, I, I would have, I became a guidance counselor, and so I met my wife at the same school. Um, I never had to touch my paycheck because I, had, I was earning from my skill sets. So we, we we came together with that. So she was not for sale. I met her, not saving. I don't want to share those stories about her, but she was just that just person who would spend, and if anybody call her, she just pour it out. She's a very, very kind person. So no wonder why. We are similar, but yet different. I am very, I'm kind too. She's kind, we're very generous. We like to help people. We're both similar. But another video we talk about, you know, attraction and how mm -hmm. to attract each other. But that was my That's finance. The thing that you always are saying at the house. Um, you, you attract what you love. You, you attract what you are, or the love there. They're off. Yes. So, so. one of the time we go, and we, oh, we go that into that, yeah, we're going to that in another video. Um, but that was the finance life before. So when we became married, now we're going to move to that question now, all right? But that was it. I was a saver, cautious about spending money. She was a freelance spender. That sound good? Yes, yeah, sound, sound good. Freelance spender. Yeah, All right. you give me a title. Freelance spender. Mm. All right. So the next question: How were things when you got married financially? One good, one bad, if you can. So how were you things financially? Or was things financially when we got married? Which I advise any couple once Sorry. you're going to get married to somebody, ensure yeah. that yeah. one is working, ideally yeah. both of you are working. And if it, if it happens that nobody's working immediately, I'm not saying you can't get married. You want to marry somebody who's ambitious, somebody who's a hard worker. And that's hard to know if that person is an hard worker because you make them not working. You, you marry not working. So I would never advise it, but it can happen because some people may, at the point of being together, getting married, things happen and, they, and they're unable to work. However, they are ambitious, they, are, they have goals, they are, they are very realistic. 
and that is what I'm trying to say. So for us, we were both in an occupation, we were both in a career. So what we did was just to just get right into it. We started to put, I started to share my strengths. Um, she started to share her strengths. We were pretty much self-aware. So she, I, I saw her weaknesses. She saw my strengths without us communicating because we were spending quality time together. So our finances now, we just put it together, the money from the ministry. I came in right in time to help her get a nice place rented, have deposits available and so forth. So we were okay financially. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about you? Yeah, because so I wanted you to take the question because mm -hmm. it will be like repetition because um, we both was doing the same thing. So that I wanted one person to talk about. Okay. So the fact that you know whatever I wanted, if I have like for um twenty thousand dollars this month, I have twenty. So you know it's like together yeah, like forty. Yeah, that's, so that's before, when you that either make bad decisions or great ones. Because no more money together, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like a gimmick. So. Yeah, and that was that is true because being married and be, and to be able to rely on your partner to say, all right, because that, that's what we did initially in the marriage. Um, I took the bills as it relates to the rent mm -hmm. yeah, and the water that. bill. I remember we said that carefully, yes. and then she would buy food, food. primarily <laughs> food. So we had to split the salary that way. But thanks be to God. So one bad thing about us thing. being um, our finances early. If I had this knowledge then, granted we're fine today, I have no regrets, but with this little knowledge, we would have like locked away a money every month to a, to a account that we couldn't touch. That was never the case for us. Uh, we never had any guidance and we intermarried with a lot of responsibilities. We want the child early. And that's the reason why we never had a big wedding. We had a wedding like, all we had was the ring going on the finger and the person pronouncing us married, which we wanted that. And I would advise anybody if you're going, well, another video we talk about that, but if you're going to get married, you have to be very careful because it's not about the day, but it's the days it's to so come. Fun. I have a video coming out very short talk about that. So we're happy Subscribe. that we took that route. However, if we had saved some money, like locked away in our accounts, like a 10,000 each, until like today, like we want to make some big moves now, if we had that, we could have simply run to an account, but we never had that. But grant you, we made some great steps. God guiding us. So yes, that one bad, I won't say it's bad, but if I had the knowledge, no. I advise any couple who listen to this video, if you happen to get married, try to lock away, even if it's meager, so to speak, very small, because it's going to come in and insurance. Yeah which we had to do because we were we, we started having children very early we yeah. wanted children have kids early we're at stake if we were to die we want to ensure there's something there that they could get to live from right but no where we're at now we're not so much believing in insurance to be honest with you but before you go to the next question like one devastating financial decision that i made mm. and I, it's, it's it's devastating because it devastated me mm. but i found good in it so I learned from it and all of that. So, so I'm it, curious to hear. you're curious. Yeah. Oh, come! <laughs> you never really know. I you know, you know. Question. That number four, right? Yeah, Share good. one devastating. Oh, number answer. three. So you got the number three question then. All right. Oh, good. So number three. No, I wasn't. Oh, number two. Yeah, but go to number three. Oh, so number three. share one devastating okay. financial situation or time you both found yourself in. So okay. she's taking that question. Yes. Yeah, so let me jump at number three because it, you know. So, um, no, no, nobody on social media knows, only my close family members and my husband, of course. So, there was a point in my life when a ton of money came into my life. A ton of money that I wasn't even used to, to be honest with you. It was a lot at once. You know, um, teachers can relate when you just get employed by a job. Pre you either pre train teach or well, a pre a degree teacher, but you get pre train money because your degree you not know, get, you know, um, start out by ministry. It's a long story. You never get to that. Yeah. So, when everything, what they do, do what they do is pay. What they do, do, as in what do. They do is to pay you uh, all the money they owe you. Yeah. That's what I do, do. Anyway, yeah. So what happened to me that a ton of money was coming in and I had no idea what to do with the money and I never and we never get married. We weren't even dating. I think afterward we start date but No man, we yeah, were dating you when I met you getting the first money. We were yeah, it, met, it met me a we rich were, we were engaged. Uh, it met me a money right girl. At the time. <laughs> You make me kind of look at money. But me have it, but let me not have it. So anyways, me kinda of overwhelmed with the amount of money coming in. 
So what I did was start to think about my passion, which is makeup and beauty. And I said, all right, then I link one of my friends to give me some advice on what to do. And I tell her my passion and my dream. And then I, asked, I went ahead and rented this expensive um, space, expensive area. It's an expensive space. It's big. And she team up with me. I said, I buy furniture for the place because me, I said, I go after this makeup luxury dream. I had no advisor, no planner, no course on how to spend money and all and um, invest in the beauty industry. And I, it's like um, um, all my dreams at that point went crumbling down. Me never, the money was, to be honest, it was wasted to an extent because I still have stuff from it. I still have products and materials and you know um furniture from the investment but i feel like i could have done so much in my career beauty wise if i would got knowledge about money and how to invest luckily my husband was there you know at the end part of it at the end part of the money so i could invest back into my husband and also into myself because money is still left and we had shared and, the money we had shared and I the money could, wisely i could stop what i was doing to save more money yeah. So that was that's devastating. It. That's for a good me. thing about having a partner too. Well, a partner where that's function level headed. You yeah, know, because level -headed. partner does not function. Not the function at all. So even though she was on that um, dream that she always wanted. So while I remember I said to you in, in the room that I think you should do freelancing and what you were other yeah. that you want to have a place. Expensive. I was saying it was expensive, but here what? I'm happy for the experience because she, irrespective of all that, she had listened. That's one good yeah. thing about my wife who don't know her. I believe every wife and husband should try to possess and try to learn to listen. She had listened, so even though she had invested in that, at the same time I said to her we wanted to invest in something else, given that something can change up or might happen. And of course we invested in a taxi. It ended up working out for a year and hard. Alright, so for me one of the most devastating experience financial that we have ever had is when we built our house. Um, I mean, we went to like shipwreck, no money, thousand dollar gas, five, no, not thousand dollar, three hundred dollar gas, two hundred dollar gas. I'm talking about like 2080, the year 2080. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was devastating. We had to send away our daughter to, um, to Rashida's mom so she could look after her. I, at some time, I was so frustrated and stressed. I would stop in the middle of the road. She and I would have some hard arguments and um, dispute. You know, but because I couldn't get something I wanted to get because we were putting things in place to build our house and we got robbed and the list goes on. So that was a crucial and the most devastating experience so far. Yeah, yeah. There has been others. There have been others, sorry, but that's the most um that come to mind, the most crucial one as this is financing. What's your finance status now? Or what's it like now? Tell me much money you have now. <laughs> well, that's not the case. Uh, we are way better off than we were before. Still not, still not the place that we, still not at the place Where we, we want, want to be. be. I guess that's for everybody, everybody right? But yeah. it, it, we are looking better off now. Where we can at least buy gas, <laughs> buy grocery. The kids are going to school. Um, trying to work on a new goal. All right. Of course, we're still owing some things. We're a few loans, same way. Cause you don't have to swap some of them, delay some of them to get certain things done. So yes, but we're not at it exactly where we want to be. But financially, I believe we're, we're way better. We're starting the college fund, we're at deposit now, we're not paying for about six or seven months now. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's just show, a reality, yeah, it's, it's just a reality of, of, of what marriage is. And for those who think that it's all dandy, uh, you know, I'm here to always, uh, we want to expand it by another house so we can you know have a stable income coming in monthly it's hard to deal with people and tenants and everything but it's a worthwhile journey so we want to buy another house in the future very right. soon so that can allow us now to start with 95 at least one of us for sure if Great both of us great two we want to make like this more more regular so we can go on trips new content new places different countries manage that because marriage is hard it's hard financing intimacy children wise so Everything is hard. yeah we're good though and just to add and support what he's saying we're at a mature place I, like mature. I, I, I can't just say that it just feel like I'm not gonna say um, I know everything about money I may mean, have figured out I'm not a plan and budget every single mm -hmm. no to the T I know the, the book was said and they're gonna tell if I go click and no 
we are at a mature place and we're grateful to God for that. We are learning how to live together, learning how to spend money, learning how to support each other financially, not to be judgmental. You know what I mean? And learn to sacrifice. And sacrifice. On ourselves because we sacrifice everything Sac else yeah, and just, everybody else. It's just so, be mature. So we are, we yeah, are getting just, there. But we are not bougie. No, we're not. We're just trying. <laughs> what are some of your financial goals in the next five years? So we want to broaden our business. We want to... Um, have a good, well, for those who don't know, we're into real estate, so we have a house with our business. So, thirdly, we want to be helping people, coaching people on the journey too, so they can make smart decisions and hard decisions too. So, that's one of the smart, some of the smart and five year goal plan that we have. Beautiful. So, quick close off slash recommendations for all those newlyweds and even those persons who have been married for years. I really do recommend you guys investing your money in something, whether it be a person, a thing, yourself. Do it. Don't sit on your money and expect it to work for you because money is better utilized when it's you are spending. Are invested, yeah. Right, so this is what we're leaving with you today. Invest in something or someone or yourself. Money management is key. It saves relationship. You might ignore it in your relationship, but it's got to come up and it can cause a, can cause a lot of problems in your relationship. But we don't want that. We want long life, we want prosperity, we want beautiful marriages to flourish and all that good stuff. So, guys, this is the video. Please enjoy yourself. Be blessed. Be motivated. Be inspired. Subscribe to our channel. Channel. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks Good for having us and share. blessings. You'll see you more again. Videos. Of course, you want to see us together? Comment if you want to see us do more videos together. Yeah, yeah, comment because I, I hate to do videos by myself, but yeah. <laughs> it's more fun with somebody. Alright, take care.